Hi, I'm Nico Rosberg. Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton. It's time to get street smart. What tire are you gonna take? I think I'm gonna take the soft tire. You think? Yeah. I think the medium could work better today. Expecting rain? I don't know. It, it looks okay, yeah, to be honest, for now. So I think I'm just gonna stick with that. Cool. Let's go. Should on. we try it out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. You. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I beat you! No! Yes. Careful! Formula One tyres. We have two basic types of tyre. We have the slick tyre that you see here in front of me for dry weather running. And we have the wet tyre, of which this is an example for use in wet conditions. Dry tyres, we've got four different types, ranging from the super soft right the way through to what we call the hard. They are all marked differently. These tyres are absolutely critical for transferring all of the forces that act on a Formula One car down onto the road. They start up in blankets. They get heated to about 100 degrees before we go out. But the heat is really on the surface and it's not in the internals. And so we have to put the temperature in the internals by driving around and they only work in a very specific region of temperature. And if they're below, they don't work. And if they're above, then they destroy themselves very, very quickly. We've also got two types of wet weather tar. We've got a, what we call an intermediate tar, which is for semi-wet conditions, and a full wet tar for very wet um, conditions. The races in Formula One require that the driver use both types of dry tar in a race, so we have to make at least one pit stop to change from one type of dry tar uh, to the other. The first uh, pit stop is generally determined by the driver. After that, then it's really down to them to give you an indication of when they need to stop. The team will say that you know, the optimal lap is lap 17. If you can't reach 17 or you go past 17, there'll be a point where the tyres are at their worst, and in that, at that time, you have to call into the team to let them know that your tyres are finished, and they call you in. The job is to try and make the tyres last as long as possible. Formula One cars typically use their tyres for about 120 kilometres maximum. Road car tyres, maybe 16,000 kilometres. But either way, the usage and lessons are exactly the same. You need to take care of your tyres, just as our Formula One drivers look after their tyres to get the maximum out of them in their short life. <laughs> it's wet. Uh, we have wet tyres. It should work out just great. All right. Yeah. That was slow. Oh, you're going too far, it doesn't count. Go, 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 go! Yes! I hit the most. <laughs> Three.